Hey, what is going on guys? Elite Chris here, and today we are back on Sosnovka. Um, just did a quick little uh, slurry mission here to try to get the uh, price of this field down, because I plan on buying 20. I was going to go for 23, but uh, it would take way too long to try to, uh, to be able to afford 23, so I figured why not go for one of these smaller fields and make a little money while we do that. Um, fertilizing, no, nope, don't want to do that. We already did that, I believe. Did we already do that? Yeah, we already did that. Why can we do it again? Uh, okay then. Um, no, that's cheating a little bit. I'm not going to do that again. Huh, must be a glitch. Anyways, uh, I uh, installed a few uh, mods. Um, I have going to start this. I have the follow me mod, I got a few trucks and whatnot. Um, if you've seen any of my mod spotlights, you, you'll see some of the other other mods I have. Um, plan on trying to use them. Sosnovka does not have the gold nuggets, at least not to my knowledge. No one has said anything about it. So uh, it'll uh, take a little while to build up a uh, money base on this map, but uh, it'll be fun. We'll have fun uh, trying to make some money. I mean, it won't be as easy as Gold Crest. Um, if you watch any of my Gold Crest videos, time lapse, let's plays, whatever. Thank you. If you don't, thank you for not watching. I don't know. I guess. Guess that's a thing. Anyways, let's uh, just fertilize this field. I'm gonna try not to miss that much not a big fan of trying to fertilize a almost fully grown field. This is, I believe, the third growth stage. Could be wrong. But that means it'll be ready for a harvest soon. Be nice to buy this field before the harvest is due and then uh, harvest it and make the uh, money off the harvest. Um, I don't know if that's really cheating the system at all, but uh, I mean, I don't think it is. I mean, some people might. I mean, kind of using the mission system to your advantage in a way, but uh, it's not totally unrealistic or anything. I mean, don't know. I've never bought a field before. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to fertilize this field. Um, skip ahead a little bit. No need for you to watch me fertilize this field. Um, and then we'll decide what we're going to... Uh, do on uh do on our farm so yeah I'll be right back guys all right guys so uh should be the end. yep see didn't even get the finish um there we go two thousand five hundred off of that i wonder if it's gonna yeah it's gonna bug out again must be some kind of some kind of glitch i wonder if this one's still the same way must be like a fertilizing thing don't know if farming simulator will patch that i'm i'm assuming you yeah, see this one still says the same thing i know it's not ready for another harvest um, as you can see, I did uh, start them workers over there, so uh, they are working over there on our field. Um, we will hop over to here. It's quite a walk if we don't. Uh, let's just take a look, see where I think the this guy's done. Don't quite know why he missed all this. Let's just kind of clean it up a little bit. I'm trying to make as much money as possible. Let's see if I can sneak in front of this guy before he comes. And we'll lift this up. Don't want to cultivate over our new, newly sown area. Throwing down some soybean in case you were wondering. I think uh, we put soybean on the other on the other field. Could be wrong. Probably am wrong. Or could be right. Which I probably ain't right. I don't know. Maybe. Might be right. Anyways, uh, we did fertilize that field. I can see the big patches we missed, and I do remember missing them. Uh, I don't know why, for some reason, I'm not a big fan of parking in here, because I just, I know this is where the sugar beets and stuff were before. I think this one actually had the wood chips, which, I mean, we could still use the back for wood chips. I mean, I never filled one of these up all the way anyway. Would be pretty cool to do, I know, but uh, probably never going to happen. And then these two were sugar beets and potatoes. That's pretty much the only thing that I've seen that's new. Anyways, we were going to buy a field 
not buy a field, but uh, buy some animals possibly. Just want to see. Should have threw down some canola. Did we put canola on that other field? What's on this field? 14. Is looks like. What do we put down? How oh, we put wheat down? What do we need wheat for? What do, how do our animals look? Let's check our animals. So we did put straw down for them. Obviously, the last title from the Let's Play was Straw for Nothing. Because we put straw down for these and there's nothing there yet. But we could buy some cows. Cows are pretty easy, so we're pigs. Could buy some water. They both and everything needs water, even the sheep now. Sheep are easiest to maintain, but at the same time it takes forever to make wool and they don't produce or reproduce very fast. I think I had like I don't know, like ten sheep and the reproduction rate was like five hundred minutes or something like that. Or five hundred minutes, five hundred hours, something something crazy like that. I know the pigs are the fastest, we'll probably go with pigs. Just because it's new in Farming Simulator seventeen, at least to the base game. Not completely true if you count mods. But uh yeah, cows, not sure how they uh income how much income milk makes. I haven't actually done cows yet. So uh that would be interesting to do. Um, they just need water, grass, silage, or hay, and power food, which is the TMR, or uh, total mix ration, which is only 30% of their production, so you could get them up to 70% between these two just by having hay or, uh, or silage or grass. Silage and grass, not the hardest to make. All we need is a grass field next to the cows, so let's actually look. Look at that. Where are the cows at? The cows are... Are these the cows? No, that's the sheep. Pigs. Oh, pff, wow. I can't believe I did that. Cows are right in front of us. Completely forgot. Completely forgot. That was definitely a pretty big blonde moment. Is there any grass around here I feel like we could cut? I know we could cut this when this grows. Not cut it, but we can plant some grass on there and then make that our grass field to do all our cow stuff. Um, I don't think, to my knowledge, I don't remember anything being close to this to cut. And really it's the only area around that you can cut. Oh, that's all hilly and stuff. Um, don't believe, oh, I guess you could get in here. I don't know, is this new? I don't remember. Might have been here. Maybe it was like a mowing mission area or something. It's kind of hilly though. I don't know how a a mower and collecting wagon would work on here. Um, could definitely buy this land, or not buy this land, mow this if we wanted and kind of like sneak over here, mow some of this. I believe that's the end of the water. Could mow around here. I uh, could come over here if we wanted to a little bit. There's a little bit of mowing here we could do. Um, and the thing is the grass could go towards two animals instead of pigs which are only one and cows produce you money hourly. Let's speed up the time up to five. Forgot I moved it down to one. Um, so we could do that. I think that's what we might do actually. How's this guy looking? It's about done. Or the alternative is to do pigs and pigs are the cheapest. I don't know. Cows are extremely expensive. I mean, really, really, really expensive. Um, what's the horsepower on this tractor? Garage. This uh, it's this one. Only sells for about eleven thousand. Horsepower only one seventeen. This one's only one twenty-seven. Don't think either of these can be modded. We can check that, however. This is the one we own. No. So. We don't own the smallest one, we own this one. Which, no, you cannot speed them up, make them, we can't, ah, cannot make them powerful, not speed them up. Don't know why I said that. Maybe this one, yeah, oh, this one you can. Okay, so uh, this tractor wouldn't be bad to keep around for, uh, it only has one, standard wheels, narrow. So you can put standard or narrow on them and change the rim color from red to gray. Red is fine. Mm, I think is that the best uh, Zetor tractor they have in the game? I 
think so. So they did give us the best Zetor, but uh, that ain't saying much considering uh, they're not that good. So with that being said, I think we are going to see how much it costs to repair this. 11,000. So maintenance must be pretty high on that. Let's see. The axial flow is ridiculous. Um, that's ridiculous. The Zetor Proxima 120, Power 120 is that one. The That one is not too bad, I guess. Anything is, I don't know if buying this or if repairing this and then selling it would make more money. We'll probably be stuck with these. There's no really need to upgrade the harvester anyway because our fields are small and we only own two. If we ever buy that big field over there, we could upgrade them. I think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I don't know. I'm thinking I'm going to think about it for a minute and uh, be back in a second. That's probably the best idea. So I apologize for the long, long uh, thought session we had together, but it was fun. So uh, yeah, we'll be back in a second, guys. All right, guys, so uh, as you can see, I decided to do a slurry mission or uh, spreading slurry mission on this uh, this field that's right by our farm, the one I said I was not going to do any more work on. But uh, the bigger jobs do pay better, so uh, we do need some money, so I decided uh, why, not, uh, why not just take the uh, job on the biggest field on the map. Um, I don't know if this is the biggest, but um, it's the biggest one closest to our farm. And uh, i seen that it was this thing, and this thing is a monster. I love this huge slurry spreader. This thing is insane. But uh, anyways, yeah, we're going to... Uh, what I'm thinking is probably do a couple missions maybe uh, on and off on and off screen here and there like uh, kinda cutting in like I did here maybe we'll see how much money I have after this uh, we'll keep an eye on that guy once that guy's done we'll throw the uh, fertilizer spreader or the fertilizer over there get him going probably might sell that little tractor it's kinda kinda a little too small for my liking to be honest So we'll probably sell that and uh, buy a bigger tractor with the money plus what we have. Plus uh, we'll probably have to uh, take a little loan out. Don't remember if I took a loan out on this map. But uh, we will definitely check that out. You guys probably already know. So you're probably either yelling right now saying, you idiot, you already used your loan. Or you're saying, yeah, man, use that loan. You didn't use it all. That's cool. So I don't know if anyone's a fan or not of using the loan system but uh, it's there it's there for a reason it's to help you out on the beginning of your farm at least that's what I use it for so with that being said I will let you guys um, let you guys not have to watch me do this because not the fastest job in the world not the most exciting job in the world so uh, we will uh, speed up time if you guys do want to watch like more of this stuff. Um, I mean, I could show you. I mean, I tend to run out of stuff to say while I'm doing this, so it would get quite boring because it'd be kind of quiet. But uh, if that's what you want, you can do that, or uh, you could just check out my time lapses. That is definitely not self-promoting, right? Which um, you do see everything. It's just everything's at a high speed with no audio, just some cool background music, or at least I think it's cool. And uh, you get to watch some uh, farming at a high speed. Um, saves you the trouble of watching, doing stuff like this at a very slow speed. This 10 mile per hour spreading seems like you're going about 50 miles an hour. And um, I think that was a voice crack. So with that being said, I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so uh, we're back. Back at our own farm, that is. Uh, made a decent amount of money from that uh, that slurry job. Um, it's kind of funny because I looked to see if it would let me uh, do it again. And uh, apparently it doesn't let you do it on the bigger fields. So uh kind of makes me wonder about 
Did they intentionally put it there and like try to hide it for people to make extra money? Which I doubt, but uh, could be a possibility because the uh, the uh, price for uh, doing it on them small fields is not quite as good as it is doing it on that uh, that bigger field made me like twice as much money, which is cool. So uh, we're gonna start fertilizing this field. Um, actually, we're gonna hire a worker because I am not the straightest driver in the world when it comes to that. And the small one makes it even harder because it is super small. Definitely gonna need to invest in uh, a power washer at some point. Not right now, obviously. Mm, not right now. Uh, but... We're going to put this away. Going to uh, almost crash into that tractor. Did that on purpose. Got to show you how close I can get without crashing. So we're going to refill this. Always try to keep it filled. So that way if I forget when I go to use it, at least it's always going to have some in it. It'd be nice to upgrade that soon as well, actually. Not a big fan of the small cedars at all. I feel like this tractor... Wouldn't be bad for putting a mower and that collecting wagon on. So maybe we will... And I did decide we are going to do cows because they are the closest and it makes the most sense right now. So we are going to uh, head to the shop, probably, to collect a mower. So uh, I know I said probably, but that was definitely a yes. We are going to. So we'll just head there right now. Um... Maybe, uh, I don't think there's a field on the way. I should know this map by now because, uh, I did play it quite a bit on 15. It's not my most favorite map by any means, but, uh, it was with the, uh, I did pay the money for the gold edition, so I figured might as well use the map that it came with because it really wasn't worth the money for just the, uh, the, uh, tractors and whatnot that you got. I believe it was just these tractors and the uh, that one tipper that I don't even use and the or something else. Oh, the sower and the s uh, the uh, spreader and stuff. Don't don't use them too often either, unless I'm hurting for money and don't want to spend a lot of money on one. So we'll uh, hop out and head to the clothes store and buy something while no one's here. Maybe we'll get a discounted price. Probably not. With that being said, I wonder, is there a sale? No, I didn't think so. There's normally not a sale on the first day. At least there wasn't on... Whatever. On uh, 15. Um, this one and this one, there's not really a big difference in size. The only difference is when you go to use the back one. This one can attach directly to that, and you can have it on one side. So you could have this on the front with that on the front, and then you could have something on the back like a wind rower or something to uh, blow it into a little pile. With this one you have to have this on the front or back and this one on the front or back on um, whichever one you don't have that one on. They cannot connect together which is kinda sad. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. It's not really a huge difference in... Uh, it'll be interesting to get on. Um, I guess we'll have to sneak in the back. I guess that's why there's a door in the back side of the store. And we'll cut through this door and then spin around. So we'll go through uh, the half open door here. Not really sure why that door is like barely open. Doesn't really serve any purpose except for visual reasons. I mean, it looks different. I guess, I guess people will leave their doors open when they're not open, right? Makes sense. I could buy a upgrade for the uh, engine on this if I wanted to while we're here. Just take a look at it real quick how much it would cost us. Uh, we'll go to customize. We could change the rim color to gray which is quite pointless to be uh, quite honest. Um, the 150 would cost us 11,000 to give us what? How much extra horsepower? Uh, about 20. 
don't really think it's a need right now. It's kind of a kind of a push. We could buy like two and a quarter cows for eleven thousand. I think they're like five thousand apiece. And I'd rather have two and a quarter cows. Who wouldn't rather have two and a quarter cows? Am I right? So we'll uh, head on back over to the farm. Definitely looking forward to getting that first harvest done on that field, and we'll probably turn it into grass. Could also cut this. It's a decent sized field. We need extra grass. But cows need grass and uh, hay. And uh, speaking of that, almost left the store and forgot we could buy a water tank while we're here and we're not hauling nothing on the back. Might as well make use of all our uh, attachment areas and uh, put something on the back. We need to drive away with an empty empty back end. Alright. Yes, I believe I am. So we will not go in the store this time to buy something. I'll just buy it right from here. Probably not going to buy the animal hauler. It's uh, easier just to buy them at the thing for now. Alright, so we'll buy this. So I'm guessing everything uh, spawns in the store then. A little different than 15. I said that in the first video. I'm used to like the equipment spawning out there and then like the tractors and stuff spawning in here. Which uh not not a big deal. It's a little different. So uh yeah, we'll uh drive this back to the farm and I will save you the headache of having to watch since I already kinda drove halfway there. So I'll uh, see you guys back at the farm. Alright guys, we're back at the farm. Just sitting here for a second enjoying the uh the road and the view, I guess. Kind of interesting. We're going to uh, get some water from one of these one of these here lakes or ponds. I guess it's more of a pond. Not... Eh, yeah, it's a pond. It's definitely a pond, right? Right. Not the cleanest water, but I don't think our, um, the cows in this game care too much. I'm pretty sure in uh, real life they would probably not enjoy this water very much and uh, probably would get uh, quite sick. But uh... Yeah, the smoke looks really weird on there. It's making like some kind of weird shadow over the water. But uh, I know the cows use quite a bit of water so I'll let this fill up a little more than I normally would. Don't want to let it fill up too much because it can get quite heavy. Especially for these little tractors. And yes, I'm gonna hate on these tractors. I'm not a big fan of Zetor. And this one's not too bad, I guess, but, uh, I don't know. It's not too happy that you can't upgrade the power a lot in these, so if you could, uh, increase the power a little bit. I guess these are probably more of a small farm tractor. Not quite sure. So let's find the water fill point. Looks like it's right here. Not right here, but, uh, oops. Right here. So we'll, uh, unload this here. And we'll move it a little closer so it's out of the way. Don't think they were done. I kind of drove off the, uh, trigger. Now they're done. We'll pull this up. Okay. And we can still fill stuff up from there, but it's also out of the way. Hopefully that doesn't bother anyone. That's what I've been doing. Is uh, just kind of keeping it by the water fill area since uh, since there is uh, really no point to store it all the way over here and drive it over there just to fill the cows. When we get more animals, I might uh, keep it more tidy. But uh, we only are going to have cows right now, so no need to worry about it too much. Normally I would probably end the video around this point, but uh, it might be a little longer of one because uh, I kind of rambled on there for a while and there wasn't much farming going on. Um, I do apologize for that. It tends to happen with me. If you don't like that, um, I am sorry. Sometimes it just kind of... Next thing I know I'm rambling on about stuff that doesn't really matter. I do apologize. 
Um, what we said we were gonna mow over here, I believe, but we'll hit this up right here real quick just to... Like the uh, new sounds the equipment makes too on this game. It's a little different than 17, but I, uh, I do enjoy the different noises that the equipment makes. So we'll probably collect eh, close to a full load. And then uh, we'll unload it into the cow's feeding area. And then probably buy some cows and then uh, probably end it there. So uh, if you don't want to watch all that, since I told you what's going to happen, um, I'll just tell you thanks for watching now. That way you don't have to watch the end if you don't want to. But that is what we are going to do. Is we're going to fill this up. And take it over there and uh, buy uh, as many cows as uh, we can afford. Probably not the smartest business decision I'll make. But uh, you know what? You gotta live a little and uh, live with the consequences. So uh, hopefully I don't go bankrupt and uh, lose the old farm. Don't think I will. I can also uh, always do a couple missions here and there to uh, make a bit of extra money. We're gonna cut through here, get this a little bit. Try to keep it as neat as possible because I don't want the like the little grass things laying around the farm. Kind of a neat freak in that sense to where I don't want stuff laying all over on the ground and whatnot. Um, don't don't think we can get that. I just said that and I think I messed this up there. Let's see. See if I can clean that a little bit up. Let me turn the mower off. Actually, I'll just lift it up. That's even a better idea. Nah, it looks like that tree branch is going to be in the way. Hmm. Thought I drove over it. Guess uh, I didn't go far enough back. We'll fix that. There we go. It's better already, right? All right. Uh, let me shut this off. Doesn't need to be on. Same thing with this. Let's see if that's enough to fill their uh, feeding area. We'll put the grass in down over here. Um, I don't know if you, I think you could mix them all together in that one area, but just in case you can't, I want to put the grass here. That way, the silage and whatnot can go over there because it's close to the silage pit. Silage. I don't know why I said silage. It's uh, close to the silage pit. So. Guess I'm not in range, maybe? Or there's no trigger here, there we go. Okay, I knew I was missing something here. Hmm, they uh, took quite a bit of grass, how much did that get them to? Where are they? Uh, almost full, pretty close. And turn the front mower back on. And away we go. <clears throat> we'll uh, probably do uh, a little bit more. And in the next one we will probably get some silage. Got it right this time. Some silage started. Don't know why I said silage. I apologize for that. I think I heard that in a... Let's play once when I first started playing this game. I watched a let's play and I believe they said it a couple times by mistake. And uh, I tend to pick up on uh, other people's, I don't know, way they say things and it just kind of stuck. So uh, I do apologize. Just swerve to the trees through here. Something different. Not cutting for looks, we're cutting for grass. We need the grass. I'm going to cut across the street. Hopefully no one's coming the other way. It didn't look. Um, yeah, I think uh, we'll go to here, spin around, go unload it, and uh, that should be good for now. Kind of a weird place rock, just a random rock right there. Hmm. 
There we go. Let's take this over to the unload point. I don't know. I feel like the turning is a little harder on this than, uh, not necessarily harder, but it's, uh, not as sensitive. It's a little harder to turn sometimes. Which is fine. Just take a little bit to get used to. Still haven't logged too many hours on this game to get used to it. Most of my logged hours are making the, the tutorials and whatnot, which uh, don't really do a little too much driving around on them. It's more just explaining stuff and uh, whatnot. May or may not have seen them before, so you know what I'm talking about. So uh, we're going to unload this in a year. Just unload from this side and uh, just start driving. I think, uh, I think some of it missed. Well, that's interesting. The, uh, oops, <laughs> probably should have shut the back, huh? Just shot it right back out the other side. Can you actually collect this back up? No, I didn't think so. I just want to get the uh, stuff we missed. Don't want this laying out, so a bit of a waste. Next time I'll make sure I come in a little farther like that. That way I don't accidentally... Okay, for some reason I felt like I didn't hit the button. But I guess I did. So we'll park this over here. Put it back. Try to put our stuff back as much as I can. Unless we're in a hurry for something. Like it's a great demand or something. Just want to hurry up and get to it. And uh, we'll park this. We'll put this right here. Probably use that in the next video. But in case we don't, it's out of the way. We'll put this right here. Nice and uh, angled parking. It's awful dirty. I do have that tire dirt mod, so it makes the tires uh, extremely dirty, extremely fast. But it is realistic, so uh, I do like using it. Let's see how many cows we can buy. Looks like we can buy. F Oops, we can buy five. Yes, we do. There we go. We have five cows. Doesn't show us their reproduction rate and stuff yet. But uh, next, we're gonna go for some silage. The power food gonna take a little while to get that. But uh, I don't think our cows will mind too much. As I'm saying that, they're probably plotting their. Uh, or hostile takeover of the farm as we speak. Just got them and they're already like, yeah, we don't like this guy. He won't give us power food. We're gonna, gonna do a hostile takeover and take over the farm so we can make our own power food. It will take quite a while to make that, honestly. Needs, you need silage, grass, straw, or not straw, grass, hay, is it hay? Maybe it's, hay. I don't know. I feel like I should know. I've used it quite a bit on 15. Um, what does it need? It needs silage, hay, and straw. So, uh, I was right. Just, just said grass. I didn't mean grass. I meant hay. Which is just grass turned over. Um, we're going to get silage started. Already got a little bit here. Obviously, it's going to take a lot more than that. We'll probably do, like, three more, maybe. Eh, we'll see what we can get out of them over there, but we'll probably do two loads of them. And then, uh, blanket it if it'll let us. And uh, then we'll, we'll have some silage, and then uh, we'll harvest this, and uh, grow some grass, and then we'll use this as our uh, main source of grass and hay for the uh, cows. And we'll probably use that field for uh, wheat whenever we need it, and then we'll try to buy them back fields back there for other stuff. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching, as always, guys, and um, I will see you guys in the next one. Get, 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 get,